Hey folks, Jeremy Matuszewski, Thunderstruck Ag Equipment, down here with one of my good friends, Tom Patterson from Martin Till. How you doing, Tom? Good, Jeremy, how about you? I'm doing great. So, kind of our between two hoppers, what, what we really, we're not two hoppers, I wanted to come down to your booth, but I wanted to really learn a little bit more about the Martin family, and you know, one of the things I said to you is I want to talk customer service, because I feel like you, have a, a unbelievable customer services. You care about the farmers. You can see it when you're talking to guys. Where's that come from? Well, you know, it, it all originated when, when Howard Martin started the family back in 1991, or started the Martin Industries in 1991. You know, he had an idea that he wanted to do some no-tilling and he wanted to invent something and he, he started out putting uh, two rotary hole wheels on his wife's wheelbarrow, ran him through the garden <laughs> and said, hey, this works. I'm gonna make some row cleaners, and he and he made some row cleaners and uh, so thirty. Wait, back up. So he put two just rotary hoes on a wheelbarrow. He put he took two old rotary hoe wheels, yeah, off of a rotary hoe, put them on the wife's wheel wheelbarrow, and went through the garden and said, "Holy cow! It moves out trash. This works." And Howard Martin was the first guy to really use a residue manager or designer. Like there wasn't really a lot of mechanisms out there for for dealing with residue previously. Not, not really, not really very much out there in, in the in that area. You know, Western Kentucky, just to give you a little background, Jeremy, Western Kentucky had been a hotbed for no-till farming for many, many years. Yep. You had the young family um, started that started the no-tilling craze back in the in the late sixties. And then you you came out of there and then you had people uh, around Howard Martin's age, Gene Keaton, yep. uh, the Keaton, Keaton seed, seed firmer. firmer. Yep. Uh, you had uh, Phil Needham, which everyone uh, has heard of Needham Ag. Yep. You've got Martin, the Martin family right there, all within about a 30 mile or less Incredible. radius uh, of uh, no-till. So, I mean, it's and amazing. Martin's known for world-class residue managers, and it started with a wheelbarrow. That's amazing. With two rotary hoe wheels. So talk, you know, Talk a little bit about the residue managers and no-till and stuff. You know, the residue managers, of course, has come a long way. You know, we started out with the pin adjust. Yep. Then we went to went to the C125, which is still available to be sold today. Yep. And then, of course, our after that, we uh, Steve uh, got back in the uh, came back into the business uh, and brought in the BDs, which has has been a, a long-term seller for us. And then several years ago, about five, I think, years ago, we introduced the uh, ACCRs, the ACCRs yeah. uh, both the, the 45 degree angle and the 60 degree angle. Of course, the 45 degree angle is used for 15, 20, and 22 inch rows. We're doing a lot of those in Canada with the 1790, 1631 split rows. Right, and, and that's, what, that's what they're really designed to be in. Yep. Of course, we still, we still have that ACCR 1360 which are for uh, 30, 36, and 40 inch rows, and everybody goes 40 inch row. You get down south in the, in the Texas and, yep. and, and areas like that, they still plant some stuff in 40 inch rows. So, so you're clearly passionate about residue management, but one, like I said, what I want to talk to you about too is customer service, and does that come from, like is that a Tom Patterson thing, or does that come from Stephen Howard Martin and, and how Martin Till wants to operate, or where does that come I, from? I'm gonna tell you, it started with the Martin family. Uh, it started with Howard Martin himself. Um, you know, I, I've heard you get to hear all kinds of stories about Howard and how he uh, got started. And him and his wife would do shows, yeah. and and that's how they, you know, actually got started. They went to Louisville. Um, In a little, he, probably a little ten by ten. Booth. He said he said it was amazing. I think, and I this story is somewhat accurate, maybe a little off, but uh, he said that people just flocked to the booth was really impressed what they had and he said they handed me checks and handed me checks and he's, he said I went home and told Steve I guess we're going to have to start building some road cleaners because we got orders. <laughs> and so with that Such they did that. Story. But, but the thing that made it really impressive is I've had person after person come in and said I had a bad road cleaner or I had something go just a little bit left or right and wasn't just right and the Martin family took care of me. Right. Um, a story not just this year I had a farmer come in and said hey I had uh, four or five of, of mine uh, I went through some uh, crevices and yeah but but it bent them or cracked them and um, you know I, I talked to Steve I said how you want to handle this and he says let's replace them right and I said okay so I the guy says well I need six I said no no we're gonna replace them all all 12 
He had a 12-row planter. Yeah. Steve says if three or four broke, the other ones could break. This is what we're going to do for the customer. Impressive. And, and, and that's you know, like a $12,000 touch right you know, there for this, 12 rows. This day and age, you don't see companies wanting to take care. They, they will take care of it. I'm not saying there's not companies that will do that, but for a company like that to say, well, you only broke three or four, I'm going to replace three or four. Right. Most of the time, that's what you see. Yeah. How many do you need to replace what Steve you broke? Steve says, let's do it this way. That's and, cool. and and to me that that says that not only the 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 quality of our products that we believe in, yep. but it also believes in, the, in in the integrity and the quality of the person you're dealing with, and I think that's where customer service starts is with the mm. integrity of the people you deal with, and 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 you know, you won't see higher integrity than you will with the Martin family. That's they cool. you know I I have so much up utmost respect for how they handle business, how they handle themselves. And, you know, do, have they been through adversity? There's not a company, there's not a business, there's not an individual that hasn't been through some types of individual adversities and stuff like that. But the, the quality and the customer service yeah. comes comes from how do you come out of that adversity? Right. And that's, I, that's I think powerful. that's the key, yeah. is how that they, you know, we all have issues. Right. And. How you how you handle those shows the integrity and the, and the quality the of the person and the yeah. character. That's well, exactly right. I, I appreciate it. I mean, I we've you know. been working together for a few years, and you've done a lot of training with my guys. They all call you Grandpa Tom. They really look <laughs> up to you, but I think they also look up to how you talk to customers. That's some of the things yeah. we talk about. I've told them, like, when you're down there and you're in Tom's booth, watch how he talks to customers. Watch how he connects with guys. I, I think that's the key. Is you know, I you know, I've been fortunate uh, that I'm old. And that's number one. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm You've still made alive. it to a certain. Yeah, I'm. I, I, you You're know, still I still kicking. Yeah, yeah. But I, but I'm at the place where you know I've been able to be in that situation. I, I farmed. You yep. know, when I was young, I farmed and I took over from my dad when he when when he I put him in a nursing home and, and took over the farm for myself, and then got out of that. Taught agriculture in high school and college. You done uh, a lot of stuff. And so yeah, can't can't keep a job. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. Uh, but uh, very honestly, is empathy, and I call it that. That customer. All he wants to do is he's got a situation, he's got something he wants to get accomplished. How can we help or how can we assist him right. in solving his problem? Because so cool. everyone everyone that comes in the booth, they are just not coming in to buy a row cleaner. They're trying to improve something. Productivity. They're trying to produce less trips over the field. They're trying to do better job managing soil health. Right conservation they, they all have an issue they want to get resolved and the question is how can we help resolve that so this week I've been experimenting I've been messing around because I believe in that instead of talking about the products let's talk about the problems so I've started as people have been coming in the booth is what problem has led you to look at these concaves these residue man like whatever yeah. we've got it's a potential solution somebody stops what problem are we trying to solve here because you know, and this is something we've talked about before, you can't solve everybody's problems. And if you can't solve it, don't sell it to them. That's right. Yeah. But I mean, don't don't sell it just to get a sale. Totally. Uh, because what you've done is, you've now you've got a real problem. Yep, because now you're gonna have to stand, you're gonna have to yeah. stand behind it and fix it, and you didn't even fix the problem. That's right. Yeah. And that, that's exactly right. And you know, we've been, like I said, we've been so fortunate to have the Martin family that has that common belief of customer service. They have that common belief of, of quality Yep. and integrity of products and standing and, behind it and you just can't talk and, and really brag on them enough I mean right. uh, well you did I, a lot here so I well I, mean. I get I get real passionate because you know I, I got opportunity to help uh, Steve make it to another level that he yep. wanted to go to and and I know that you know sometimes he I'm sure he thinks I'm a little goofy uh, <laughs> most of the time I am a little goofy <laughs> yeah. so it works out pretty well um, <laughs> But what I'm, what I think is that, you know, we talk a little bit about some other things on customer services, how we design our booth. Right. Uh, you know, you and I've talked a lot about uh, booth design and location. You know, I going to a farm show is is kind of like buying real estate. It's all based on location, Lo location, location. Yeah. And so with that, we've, you know, we really work on trying to find what the best location is. Well, I'd say you got a pretty dang good location. Your booth looks good. I, uh, Tom, I appreciate you taking the time and just oh. talking Martin, talking the family, talking, you know, 
how you approach customer service. And, well, I uh, sure appreciate Jeremy. You too, buddy. Take care. Yes, you too. You See betcha. you in Louisville. You betcha. <laughs>